It was speed on and air. After five hours of stopover at the Gatuna border, a Gwandan bus registration number ala AD 260M broking to the Volcano Express Bus Company has successfully crossed to Uganda. Nine AM in the morning was the bus's set off time from Chigali with thirty passengers and it arrived at the Gwanda Gatuna border at twelve thirty PM where it had to wait till five thirty PM after the COVID nineteen testing of all the passengers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey. Saddam Hussein Kawesi, the Volcano Express bus inspector, appealed to the government of Rwanda to consider the rapid diagnostic test while testing for COVID-19 rather than the PCR test that made them to stop over for a very long time. The, the journey was a little bit, uh, uh, was a little bit, was not easy at all, was not easy because we came here earlier, but we have faced uh, some problems, but good enough, uh, we are thankful and we thank God that we have reached in Uganda. The problem that we have faced, it is the test, the P PCR test it has been the problem to very many of our clients and us because it has taken long. It has taken long, that's why we have delayed. Uh, but finally, we thank God that we are here. Okay, to the government of Rwanda, actually, uh, the, the request that we have, we request them kindly to reduce uh, the, the, the test, the PCR test. PCR test takes long, takes long, and actually it's not good for the for the clients and, and us. Monique Mbaba is one of the clients of the same bus, said that the journey was very stressful and hectic, most especially at the Gatuna border. Oh, the journey was a bit stressful, but uh, we reached in the morning, you can see the time, so we've been there for over five hours, so it's really hectic. Passengers also say that the Gatuna border route is a very short route, especially to Uganda, and it helps also on reducing transport costs. <laughs> It is because if you to compare the land weight with air, because the air is still there, right. it's really going to minimize the transport cost. The Southwestern Customs Regional Manager, Peter Jikuyakale, said that they embraced the free reopening of the Gatuna border and it is an indication on the improvement of trade that brings in revenue to the country. Uh, the opening of the border brings opportunities, opportunities for trade, opportunities for cross-border trade, both informal and formal, opportunities for households to improve their incomes, origin and legitimate trade. And uh, my advice to the traders and any other person who wants to transact uh, trade across the border is that endeavor to comply to the requirements of the Rwanda government. If you are taking this, endeavor to comply with the requirements of the Uganda government. He continues to say that during the previous years, before closure, the country was collecting 400 million monthly at the Katuna border. We are collecting approximately 400 million every month from Katuna border. And uh, as of now, since the reopening, so far we have collected over, over, 200, over 280 million shillings. And uh, with the increase in volumes, the increase in traffic, we, we, we hope to collect even more than that one. Some other Ugandans were blocked from crossing the Gatuna border due to several different reasons. When two say, Nevangamba, I know Kunke, Corona, 
nino kusasura sente nze bye nari simanyi nari ku tv ne bagamba bagudde wensaro ntambule demwe tambule tengenze tuka nze tenda bavirara nobatinga machi fuchigiz television